hey guys welcome or welcome back to the channel if you're new here hi my name is Brianna and I hope you guys stick around for the rest of this video so just to be clear I am an LPN nursing student and I'm going to be doing the training for nine months and then after this I will be transitioning into the RN to train for it as well so this is how I am knowledgeable I'll tell you guys what I'm going to be putting in my kit but instead of just packing everything inside of the kit I am going to be also explaining what are the usages of these things that you will be needing inside your kit so I hope you guys will enjoy this video and I hope you guys will learn something from it as well so that when you're going to venture out into the nursing field you will fully understand each and every one of these equipment so let's go so hey guys voice over time this is the medical kit that i purchased in the beginning i thought that it would hold all the items but gradually continued to purchase the rest of items it was not going to hold everything so this is the one that i had to purchase this one is like a storage box but it is the one that i see everyone buys because it has more storage so that's all i'm going to have to do now is to print a medical sign just like the one you see on the first medical box or kit and then i'll just have to print it and put it on this box to make it significant that it is a medical kit now our first item is the apron the apron is used to protect your uniform from getting soiled or dirty during direct patient care so clear as abc this is a must must when you're going to take care of your patients you must wear it over your uniform so it does not get any form of dirt on it or soil or it does have any form of cross contamination between you and your patient so the next item is disposable gown now the disposable gown prevent cross contamination and ensure patient safety so it's kind of similar to the apron but the difference with it is that it is disposed after being used literally has your finish with it you have to dispose of it so that is the usage of this now the next item is saline solution now saline solution is used to clean wounds clear out sinuses i also heard that it can be used for drips and it can also be used like for when patients is just been admitted in the hospital they can drink it but they only drink it when it's used to treat their dehydration and this may be the cause of they lose fluid from the body so they have to drink this to regain it so yeah i hope that is properly understood now the next item that we have now is the cold compress i'm sure we all know about cold compress or cold pack this is to reduce pain and tenderness either you see it in the athletic world or even just a regular day if we have a sprained foot sprained hand or whatsoever we use this to reduce pain and tenderness so yeah as you can see you have the instructions at the back and also at the front so you're clear as abc if it's going to be your first time to use this so now next item is gauze now gauze is more for like wound care it's used to protect wounds so like the medicine you use on the wound can stay in place to heal it properly and it also cushion the wound so that the patient won't be in ex any excruciating pain i hope i pronounced that right <laughs> but yes the next item now that we have is the blood pressure machine self-explanatory it is used to measure blood pressure guys i'm sorry i had to take it out in and show you guys in this way because if i unwrap it it's going to be difficult to put it back in the bag but as you can see here you have the inflatable cuff the mercury meter gauge or the aneroid meter gauge they call it different names and you also have the bulb that is used to inflate and deflate the cuff on this now we're going to go into the next item which is the the blood sugar or the blood glucose machine 
now for this one it is used to track your blood sugar level during day and night time so you have to know when it rises or you have to know when it falls so you know what exactly to do to do the opposite either to bring it back up or to bring it down so you know you have your blood glucose meter we have the lancet device test strips and we also have the lancets and these are which the needles are in to put inside of the lancet device now our next item is the surgical gloves now the surgical gloves uses to protect the wearer and the patient to reduce the spread of microorganisms so you know we don't want germs to be spread in each and everywhere especially even if it's cross contamination meaning like it's not intentional to you know pass the germs but you know we have to wear the surgical gloves to eliminate that now our next item is stethoscope now the stethoscope is used to hear your heartbeat lungs and even your intestinal tract so ensure that these are properly up to par because you have to ensure you hear them properly especially when using it with the blood pressure machine to hear like the radial artery you have to ensure that these are properly working so now our next item is dph elixir now the dph elixir is used for cough common cold allergies and even fever as you can see in the at the front of it it's also used for sneezing and watery eyes as well and you have the dosages of who and what age group you're supposed to give the correct amount to so you can never go wrong with this our next item now is the epsom salt epsom salt now is used to treat joint injury or even on wounds to decrease infection so you cannot go wrong with this as well now moving on to our next item which is the hydrocortisone cream now the hydrocortisone cream is used to treat skin conditions like rashes itching of the outer female genitals eczema and many more skin conditions so this is a cream that they usually use for all those type of conditions now our next item is the the triangular bandage now the triangular bandage is used as a arm sling or has a pad to reduce bleeding and as you can see you see the safety pins as well and the safety pins are used to secure bandages and slings just like for the triangular bandage now our next item are cottons now cottons are used as cleaning for wounds as well as padding and protection oh sorry that one fell <laughs> But yeah, though that is the purpose of cottons. Now, our next item is bandages for sprain. Now, bandages for sprain, just as it is, helps to reduce pain and swelling by restricting blood flow. So that is the purpose of blood, I mean, sorry, bandages for sprain. Next, we have iodine solution. Now, iodine solution is used as a treatment and prevention of infections and cuts and it can also be used on wounds. Now, that is the purpose of iodine solution. Moving on now is smelling salt. Now, smelling salt is used to get rid of lightheadedness to prevent fainting but it can also be used like to treat fainted persons like if the person have already fainted you can use smelling salt to help them regain consciousness now our next item is ice gel now ice gel is used to treat minor aches and pains of muscle or joints um, such as arthritis back ache and even sprains so it's just as similar as the cold packed or the cold compress so it serves the same purpose as it now our next item is hydrogen peroxide now hydrogen peroxide is used to get rid of bacteria from minor cuts so that it does not get further contaminated by bacteria and I also know that persons use it as an antiseptic. Sometimes I think persons also use it for like 
teeth cleaning i'm not sure if i'm correct about that but but in the med in like the medical kit version this is what it is used for now our next item is rubbing alcohol now rubbing alcohol is used to disinfect a wound or used as an antiseptic as we know alcohol is used to take away germs as well so that is the purpose of the alcohol now our next item that we're supposed to talk about is the is the burn cream as it is said it's a burn cream so like for instance you get a burn you can use the burn cream to relieve burn symptoms so that it can heal it properly now moving on is the small mirror now the small mirror is used to examine eyes ears nose and throat and in doctors abc i'll probably explain this to you guys another time but this is where like for instance before the ambulance gets to the scene of an accident you can use this to check if a patient or a victim is breathing like for instance you put it near to their nose or their mouth and if it gets foggy then you know that you know they're breathing if not you know you have to start applying the different procedures so that they can regain back their breathing states to stable no our next item girl what are you doing with the mirror <laughs> um yeah so anyways the next item is disposable forceps are used to remove small objects from a wound so like if there's any glass that is in the wound you can use the tweezers to remove it yeah they call it tweezers as well but i know it has disposable forceps so after you finish with them you discard off them now our next item is scissors now scissors are used to accurately cut bandages and dressings for proper hygiene and wound care because you don't want your hand to be touching the gauze too much because you might never know if there is cross contamination which can occur now our next item is thermometer now everybody knows this the thermometer is used to measure a person's body temperature accurately have to ensure you measure their body temperature accurately so you can continue with your procedure and as you can see here i have the glass thermometer you have to be very very careful with that one because it's very fragile it can break at any point now our next item is the flashlight now the flashlight is used to help to see injuries clearer that needs to be treated so this is the smallest one i could find well i got this one off my dad's keychain <laughs> but you can use this one or you can use the medium ones as well to put in your kit but because i'm trying to save on space in this in the kit i'll just use this one and it's working so yeah now our next item is band-aids now band-aids are used to apply first aid or antiseptic cream and they're also used to put over minor cuts so that is the usage of band-aids we all know now moving on to our next item is the is the panadol painkillers i have one right now but that's okay i'm just you know demonstrating to you guys but Panadol painkillers are used to relieve headaches, pain, fever, simple sprain, and many more pains <laughs> that are there. So this is what they usually use. Yes, moving on to our next item, which is the surgical tape. Now, surgical tape is used to attach bandages, gauze, and other dressing to skin around wounds so this is what they usually use to secure the bandages and the gauzes in place so that the medicine that they're using on the wounds can be kept in place so moving on to our next items are mask and gloves now we have been using the mask but same way the mask is used to protect you from infection and illnesses and the gloves also used to protect you from cross contamination or just microorganisms in general so now we have completed all of our 32 items i hope i counted that properly but yes this is all of our 32 items in the kit yes 
32. So yes, the kit is finally completed with all of the items and it's very heavy, not going to lie, it's very very weighty. But yeah, we finally get to acquire all of them and they're finally in there so yeah. So that was all of the 29 items that I placed in my medical kit so I hope you guys learned something from it. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on post notification so you will never miss another video like this one. And yeah, until next time I'll see you guys again. Bye!